What happens when 21 humanoid robots line up alongside 12,000 human runners for half marathon? Pure chaos, incredible engineering, and a glimpse into our robotic future. In Beijing, history was made when bipedal machines took on the ultimate endurance test, and I've got the full story of what happened when robots tried to run 13 miles without falling apart. Today we're diving into something absolutely mind-blowing that just happened in Beijing, China. For the first time ever, humanoid robots competed against humans in an official half-marathon event. Not just one or two robots, but 21 different bipedal machines from China's leading robotics companies. The robot lineup. Let's meet some of our mechanical contestants. These weren't just any robots, they came in all shapes and sizes. The shortest was barely 4 feet tall while the tallest stood at nearly 6 feet. Some looked like mechanical skeletons, while others were designed to look almost human, with one even featuring feminine traits and the ability to wink and smile at spectators. The star of the show was Tiangong Ultra, built by UBTech and the Beijing Humanoid Robot Innovation Center. With its streamlined design and powerful legs, it was the clear favorite going into the race. Others came with unique fashion choices, one wore boxing gloves, another sported a red headband with bound to win written in Chinese, and some even wore actual running shoes duct taped to their metal feet. Talk about style. Race day drama. Now, let's talk about how the race actually went down. From the very beginning, it was clear this wasn't going to be a smooth event. One robot face planted right at the starting line, and just lay there for several minutes while engineers frantically worked to get it operational again. Another robot named Shenong, which oddly had what looked like drone propellers attached to its back, immediately spun in circles after starting, crashed into a wall, and dragged its human operators down with it. That's right, each robot had a team of human handlers running alongside them, making this look less like a marathon and more like people walking very technical pets. For safety reasons, the robots ran on a track parallel to the human runners, separated by barriers. But that didn't prevent the occasional mechanical meltdown. Perhaps the most dramatic moment came when a robot called Xianfeng Xiaozi was cruising along decently until its head literally fell off. Its engineering team rushed in with the universal fix for everything, duct tape, reattached the head, and sent it wobbling back into the race. The technical challenges. Running a half marathon is tough for humans, but for robots, it's an engineering nightmare. These machines face three major challenges. First, battery life. The winning robot, Tiangong Ultra, needed three complete battery swaps during the race. Each swap came with a 10-minute penalty, but was absolutely necessary. Second, overheating. The constant motion caused motors to overheat, with handlers continuously spraying cooling liquid on vital components. Imagine running while someone sprays you with a water bottle every few minutes. Third, balance and terrain navigation. The course included slopes, turns, and uneven surfaces, all extremely difficult for bipedal robots to handle. Many robots struggled with the simple act of putting one foot in front of the other consistently for hours. The results. After all the falls, repairs, and battery swaps, how did our mechanical athletes perform? The winner, Tiangong Ultra, crossed the finish line in 2 hours and 40 minutes, impressive for a robot, but nowhere near competitive with humans. For comparison, the fastest human runner finished in just 1 hour and 2 minutes. Even more telling, out of 21 robot entrants, only 6 actually completed the entire course. The rest either broke down, ran out of battery power, or simply couldn't handle the distance. What this really means? This race wasn't just entertainment, it was a serious benchmark for robotics technology. As Oregon State University Robotics professor Alan Fern explained, the real achievement here wasn't speed but durability. Just five years ago, getting robots to walk reliably was a major challenge. Now they are attempting half marathons. What we witnessed wasn't just robots running, it was a public stress test of hardware resilience, AI navigation systems, and energy management. Think of it like the early days of Formula One racing, where engineering teams compete to push technology to its limits. For China, this showcase aligned perfectly with their national strategy to lead the world in robotics by 2025. While these robots might not be practical for actual racing, the technologies being developed will eventually find their way into industrial applications, elder care, emergency response, and other real-world scenarios. What's particularly fascinating is that most companies didn't optimize their robots for speed. Instead, they focused on completing the distance without catastrophic failure. Some even removed unnecessary parts like fingers and decorative heads to reduce weight and mechanical complexity. 
The race also highlighted the gap between flashy demonstrations and practical application. Sure, we've seen robots do synchronized dances and backflips in viral videos, but sustained, reliable operation in unpredictable environments is the real challenge in robotics. This event gives us a realistic picture of where humanoid robot technology actually stands in 2025. They are impressive, but still require significant human support to function, hardly the self-sufficient machines of science fiction. The Beijing Humanoid Robot Half Marathon might have been marketed as robots racing humans, but in reality, it was more about robots racing against their own limitations. Every wobbled step represented decades of research, and every finish line crossing was a triumph of engineering persistence. As robotics technology continues to advance, we can expect these machines to get faster, more efficient, and more independent. Maybe in five years, they'll be competitive with human runners. Maybe in ten, they'll be winning races outright. But for now, this bizarre and fascinating event gives us a perfect snapshot of cutting-edge robotics, impressive capabilities mixed with endearing limitations, all pushing the boundaries of what machines can do. What do you think about these marathon-running robots? Would you want to race against one yourself? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the weird world of humanoid robotics, smash that like button and subscribe for more tech coverage. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss our upcoming video on the latest developments in robot agility and balance systems.